In today's tutorial, I am going to show you four step Arrowhead infographic slide in PowerPoint and this is how the slide works. When I click, the first option comes. As you can see here, I have added the option number here, the icons and the detailed text with some nice color gradients. And then when I click, second option comes, third option and the fourth option. And another slide I made it without uh, with single color only. So let's see how to do this in PowerPoint. Add a new slide and change the background to light uh, gray fill and then go to insert shapes. I'm going to select a, a rectangle, draw the rectangle, height make it 3.75 and width make it 1.5 and you make it less curved by dragging this orange point outside. You can see here and then shape outline make it no outline and hold the alt key and press the left arrow key you can see here so i'm pressing two times and three times i've pressed and press ctrl d to duplicate and then alt i'm just going to press i want to get this shape and i'm just going to change the color and exactly place it on top of the first one zoom a little bit and just check whether it is properly aligned or not i can see this is properly aligned so i'm just going to select both of this and go to format merge shapes and just say union so you get one shape now the next step is to select this object press ctrl d to duplicate bring the other side and then go to insert shapes select an oval shape draw oval shape give some different color shape outline make it no outline and transparency level you increase it and i'm going to keep it whichever outside of this one and whatever which is is covering the oval i'm going to delete that one so just make it more oval and if you want I'm just going to select this or let me just increase the size a little bit okay then I'm just going to select this and the oval shape merge shape and just say subtract Now I'm going to select this and I'm going to give a different color. I'm just going to give a white color for this and I'm just going to bring this and put it on top. You can see here and then you can give some different color. I'll just select the gradient fill and type. I'm going to select a linear and first of all, I'm just going to select one stop. I will give some red color and then I'm going to select more darker red you can see here or you can just select a lighter red also I can just go here and I can just select a lighter red you can see here this also let me just make it more uh, dark color so you can see it looks something like this And I'm going to select this, give some shadow effect, go to effects, shadow, and I'm going to give this effect, a shadow effect. And you can give one more cutout here. For that, let me just select white shape, press Ctrl D. And again, I'm going to insert shapes, select an oval shape, and I'm going to cut maybe this much part. So I'm just going to select this and this merge shape, and I will just say intersect and give the light color and put it here you can see here put it exactly here and i'm going to give a different shadow effect for that i'm going to select maybe this one yes and then just send this to back so you got this shape now it's time to add the text let me change this color from dark to from light to dark yeah this looks good and then you can add the text there go to text box i'll just type the option zero one 
and I'm going to set the font called impact or whichever font which you like you can use it and center align I'm going to place it on top of this you can see here and then if you have icons go to insert icons you can just select any icon of your choice let me just select this insert I'm going to give a white color reduce the size a little bit and just put it here and here you can add the more detailed text so to add the text here go to insert text box and I'm just saying that add your detail text here I'm just going to reduce the size I'm going to reduce the I'm, I'm going to choose a different font I'll just say century gothic and using the arrow I can just bend this reduce the width and put it here if you feel that the text is not uh, looking good here then you can add at the bottom also whichever way you can do it for example if I just press ctrl D and I can just put the text here also whichever way you feel better you can add the text so now with this our first design is completed I'm just going to select all and you can press ctrl G or you can just select ctrl A also to select and ctrl G to group it and I'm just going to put it here press ctrl D to duplicate how many you need you can add it 1 2 3 and 4 and make sure that this is properly aligned I'll just go to format align top and just move this sorry let me just select again and move this somewhat in the center and then you can just go and change the color of your choice that's it from me friends thank you for watching my youtube channel and don't forget to subscribe powerpoint university see you soon with more interesting stuff till then goodbye